Here I am at the memorial for, for Kayvon Wooden. Rest in peace. Here we are at the memorial for Kayvon Wooden here at Williamsburg Bus Terminal in Brooklyn. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Good evening, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Andrew. Um, I'm a volunteer here at Williamsburg Bridge Bus Terminal, and I've come here today to pay my respect to our, for, our lost but not forgotten friend, Kayvon, um, and I would like to say a few words prior to today's occasion. And I would like to say that what happened to Kayvon a year ago today, he did not deserve what happened. He was peer pressured into doing something that he did not want to do, okay? And to all the teenagers out there, whether you're 14, 15, 16 years old, it don't matter what age you are. If you are going through something, if you are going through anything where you feel like you will be in peer pressure, talk to somebody, whether it's a school counselor, whether it's your parents, whether it's anybody, it don't matter who it is. Talk to somebody, because if you don't talk to somebody ahead of time, it's gonna get worse, trust me. I had my moments where I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody, but I realized that now, I have people that I can talk to. I have the transit community, I have my family, I have friends. I got everybody that I know that I can really trust and talk to, all right? To close up my announcement, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for showing me the support that I deserve. You know, y'all always respected me. Y'all always showed me the respect that, you know, that you know, y'all always showed me a whole bunch of respect. I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you for having me here tonight. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. Peace. My name's Jesse. I'm one of the seniors of the transit community. I'm a future bus operator. Like I said, Andrew calls me. He calls me, I call him, because he's in, he got trouble, he calls me. I live in Bay Ridge, so, so most of you guys are here all the time. So, like I said, what happened to him was unfortunate. So, y'all can DM me, look me up, at listen one, just DM me. If you have a problem with peer pressure like that, because I work with kids too. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army. I work with children and youth, and those who got crisis, just DM me, okay? And, and now they made it a reporting on the subways, and the station platform says don't, uh, don't surf anymore. I don't know if y'all heard it or not, but that's all I got. Thank you. Right. Out here for one thing, one thing only, to show our respect for a fellow soldier, Kayvon Wood. He, what, what happened to him was not supposed to. And just like Andrew said, peer pressure can kill you. Physically, mentally, as well as emotionally. If you need somebody to talk to, just talk to, talk to me. Because I, I for whom, I, I am autistic. I have ADHD. I, there's been some times where I've been having my moments where I'll be going at my, my parents, my family, everybody. To a point that my counselor said, one day, you got you have to end up loving it. And, and and a lot of a lot of shit, sorry, sorry for my language, came from peer pressure. Back in transit tech, if for some y'all for some of y'all transit users that, that went to transit tech and now transferred out, I just get peer pressure a lot. For doing stuff that I did never that I never expected in my wild dreams to ever do. So from here on out, anybody who is of age, do not do stuff that will get you arrested, hurt your family, or get you killed. That's all I gotta say. Thank y'all for coming out. Peace and blessings, and God bless you to all y'all. Um, I remember what I was doing when Kate, I got the news that Kate Ross kind of sadly passed away, and like, like everybody said already, he did not deserve this. Like, he, like, he didn't do anything that led up to him. He didn't, he didn't do anything that deserved him that led up to him. Sorry. And then, yeah, I remember the times when he used to just DM me randomly and I appreciated those interactions, you know, because like he would ask me like a bunch of random questions, but those random questions actually turned to significant numbers in this past two because now I remember him for what he did and what he asked, you know. And I remember that one time, you know, the biggest memory I have of Kavan is meeting up with him for the first time. I remember what I did on that day. I remember going to Sunrise Ball all the way to Long Island. So I remember I take the Q54 and the N6 I think and the N55 and then it was just nice being in the person. He was a great soul, he was a great person and then 
when he got the news, when we got the news that he passed, I felt like heartbroken because I couldn't see him anymore, obviously. So the message goes out. The message I'm going to let you all know is: don't get peer pressure. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. You have to do this when you know that you can't. Just know that the word no exists, and you don't have to let anyone dictate what you do. Because at the end of the day, peer pressure can kill you mentally, emotionally, physically. Like what happened to Kavan? Like I'm not, I'm not trying to say that like it, it could have been preventable, but it was at a time where Kavan really felt pressure because of the people he was with around. And like I, and a part of me wants to say that I can't really blame him, but at the same time I do. But like then again, he didn't deserve the death. And I just want to say that if you if you are in a relationship right now, I'm, I'm talking about like any friendships at all, like if you're being peer pressured or if you feel like you're being controlled, I would suggest please reevaluate that, that relationship and cut anyone off that doesn't make you, that doesn't appreciate you. Because you want people around you that appreciate you, you want people around you that make you feel like you're family, you're busted, all that. So please, if, you, if you're getting peer pressured or you think you're getting peer pressured, Please do what you think is the best and be about with that, that relationship because if they're gonna let you push, if they keep pushing you around, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you all. Okay, I'm 50 years old and you know what? Speak up. My name is Neil. You may know me as MT Bus Friends Fan on YouTube or Instagram. And we lost on this day a year ago. I lost a very good friend of mine. He went by the name of Kayvon Wooden. He was peer pressured by the wrong people, fell into the hands of the wrong people, he got killed. And I just want to let everyone know that that peer pressuring is very bad. Like you don't know what these people can do to you. You don't know what type of harm they can do to you. Like look what happened with Kayvon fell into the hands of the wrong people. I think they threatened to like leak his personal information or something. If anyone knows, just let me know. But yeah, if you feel like you're getting peer pressured by anyone, talk to someone. Don't be afraid to talk to anybody. Like say something. The word no exists for a reason. And I know Danny, he, uh, Alex, sorry, I keep forgetting your name. He went to Sunrise Mall with Kayvon. He was not very far from where I lived. He, he got a chance to ride my home route. And, I really wanted to be with Kayvon that day, but unfortunately, I didn't have the time that day to meet with Kayvon, but from what I heard, he was a very nice person. He was also very funny. He would make a lot of jokes with me. I remember I first met him back in 2019. He was a very funny kid, very friendly. He would always say hi to everyone, and I'm, I really miss the humor that he had. May Kayvon rest in peace. Thank you for your time. As aka um, Chance Dependent Miguel Nunez on Instagram and YouTube, and I want to say, um, one year ago from today, K1 died of peer pressure, and I think peer pressure is like not right because they can, like, you know, think a person's mind of, you know, whatever they want. Because if they don't want to and they get peer pressure, I think that, like, it's like not right to peer pressure. And if you're feeling peer pressure, you could talk to your, your, your school bus counselor. Your, school, your social worker or your parents. Um, for my, like, for my, uh, if, in case you don't know me, um, I'm, like, personally autistic, like, um, Aaron said, and people, like, I'm, like, there's some things I never knew about k that you just said, um, you, you never know what, what a person might have, and, like, like don't judge a, a book by its cover, like, um, the, the, every person, like, the same, and, as we all know, we're like equal, and I think that peer pressure is not right. Later, and my, and later. Okay. later, Andrew. And I think that peer pressure is not okay. I mean, you feel a friend. I mean, you know, like your parents are be like depressed, and I think it's not right. You may like, you may someone lose their, you know, friend, a brother, son. 
Yeah, so rest in peace, Alright. Okay. So when I first heard the news about Kayvon, I was actually in I was actually in school when I first heard about the news. I remember I remember I was walking in through the halls in my school and I was on my way to my English class and in my English class I was reading the book. I was reading the Hunger Games book, the second book. And when I was reading, that was when I first heard about the news. Like I remember I was supposed to write down some notes some about some things that I read from the Hunger Games. I wasn't able to do any of that after what I heard about what happened to a very close friend of mine. And for the rest of the day, I was just locked up in my room, didn't want to come out, didn't want to say anything. Like it, it hurt me a lot after what happened to Kayvon. At first I thought this was all a joke, but but everyone was saying that Kayvon died and it sounded too good to be true. And that was when I found out. That was what I was doing when I found out Kayvon died. Thank you. When the fateful day came that he passed away, I remember I was in my school assembly at LaGuardia Community College because my high school doesn't have an auditorium, so we used LaGuardia to do like some sort of talent show. And then in the middle of that, we had to, we made some announcements, right? And so I remember a time where like when it was my time to like make my announcements, I got the sudden news that some a 15 year old boy in the bridge died, and obviously that was Kavan, right? And then like when I heard people, when I started hearing people say that it's Kavan who died, I was like, wait, what? No, that's not true. I know, I know. I thought, I thought like I was like, I was all in my head, you know, and then like, and then I ended up going up on stage making the announcement. Somehow I, somehow I maintained my composure, somehow I maintained my speech, but when I left the stage, I was like feeling a lot of things in my head. I was like, did he really die? Are they lying? Like, I don't want any, and I tried not to cry because I didn't want to cry around anybody. And then like, everybody, and then like, I was just all in my head for the entire day. I was like, I was trying to process the information. I was a little confused as well. Like, And then like, I just, and then a few days later, I started talking to some trusted people I know, like from my school. Like this was during my senior year in high school. Now I go to college, but it happened during my senior high school. Senior year in high school, so. Yeah, I'll never forget that day where I had to go up on stage knowing that one of my good friends died. And yeah, that's all I have. This is how it's going so far at the memorial. We have people over here recording their speeches, people over there talking about whatever. But here is the memorial. A lot of people have written notes and messages and whatnot to Kayvon. I may write something over here. Some people dropped off flowers, candles for him, and even train toys and a Metro card and an NJ Transit timetable. Someone left this uh, K poster here. This is a roll sign event. I don't know what this M16 sign is for. And here's Kayvon. God bless.